you sign a piece of document, do you realize it's the most unique piece of art each one of you have created? What if I tell you that this unique piece of art reveals a lot about you than what you thought? Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. Today, um, I want to talk about signatures. What there are different things a signature talks about every in individual, and what are the different things which, from different perspectives, a signature is going to talk about an individual's identity. But before we go along the journey, I would encourage you guys to pull out your pens, sign, put out your signatures on your books, so that it'll at the end of the speech maybe it'll <coughs> help you understand yourself slightly better than today. So we could take 30 seconds, time if we could look for 30 seconds, and then we could have people putting out the signature on their books. Let me know when you guys are ready. Done? Everybody done? Yes? It's what you doesn't have a pen. I have a pencil right there. you're ready let's go to the first thing of your signature if you move to the first slide it's the angle of your signature okay so every signature can have three different angles so a signature which has an angle pointing upwards <coughs> denotes that the individual has a lot of ambition they would like to achieve in life one of the examples is this gentleman, uh, Mark Cuban. He's uh, one of the investors for Ma uh, Dallas Mavericks team. Somebody who doesn't take no for an answer or who doesn't, the concept of failure does not exist in his life. So one of the characteristics when you trace back to this individual signature is the signature is always pointing upwards, which mm -hmm. denotes that they are ambitious, they always want to win. Now. A signature which is pointing downwards, like when you're signing on a piece of paper, if your signature is pointing downwards, what it kind of indicates is um, a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-importance. Signature pointing, slanting downwards can indicate somebody with a lack of self-esteem uh, for themselves. And then the third one is, um, sorry, you can put this sorry. So this is Richard Branson's signature on the right hand side, okay? So that is another type of signature which is not, which is standard in the sense it's not pointing upwards, it's not pointing downwards, but it is flat out. Now people with those kind of signatures where even on a blank piece of paper there's an imaginary line and they can sign straight indicates that they have a balance between work and life. They're able to find balance in whatever they do, and uh, they have they look at it from a pragmatic perspective. So that's what the angle denotes. Okay. Now moving on to the next one. The second is legibility of your signatures. Okay. So the first signature on the left hand side is Tim Cook, which is the CEO of Apple. Now this is an example of an illegible signature. A lot of us, including me, have an illegible signature. One of the understandings or personas of people with illegible signature are those who keep the feelings very close to themselves. They're not the types who, who are going to talk about their innermost feelings with everybody. They're very private and they carefully choose the people whom they let into their inner circle to um, discuss their private feelings. So an illegible signature, one of the factors it denotes is an individual who's extremely private. The one at the bottom right hand side is Mark Zuckerberg. So Mark Zuckerberg also is somebody who does, so his signature is illegible, it hardly has any information in it. This is denoting somebody who's who's extremely private 
And um, one of the reasons why he started Facebook was probably because privacy is the name of the game. Um, moving on, on the legibility. Um, so there are other types of signatures where, for example, the one on top. Um, this lady is called Mary Bess, if I'm not wrong. So she used to run uh, General Motors. The first name of the signature is legible, but then the surname isn't. So individuals with this kind of signature kind of indicates that they're open, they're friendly, but for them to be creative, they need to step away from the crowd. And they, they need their space. If you approach them, they're friendly, and then they would talk to everybody. But for that, there are points when they want to always step away from the crowd to do what they do best. The second is uh, Bill Gates. Um, actually, there are two signatures of Bill Gates. Okay? So this is an example of legible signatures. Both his signatures is legible, which basically means somebody who's open and who's, uh, <coughs> who's approachable and who, who presents what they are to everybody. Quickly moving on to the next one, slant. If a signature has something slanting to the right hand side, it means you, this individual is outgoing, they're bubbly, but they're also prone to impulses. These individuals could make impulsive decisions. This is an example of Wa Warren Buffett, who is one of the richest men in the world, but he's also prone to impulses. I want to change the sign. <laughs> but Capital letters is another interesting um, thing about signatures. So the first one is Oprah Winfrey. So if you look at the first alphabet, it's it's uh, wide and it's big. The O, which is really big, indicates somebody with high self-confidence. And the width of the capital letter also indicates that they have a great self-worth about themselves. Uh, the, the one at the bottom is Jamie Dunn, who is the um, CEO of JP Morgan Chase. Two capital letters, capital letters at the first name and the surname. This indicates somebody with a high sense of self-esteem and what somebody calls ego. Uh, it, it's a healthy ego, it's not a bad ego, but if your signature has these two, then you would have a high sense of ego, uh, which is not bad. Uh, just moving on to the last one really quick. This is Indira Nui's signature um, and embellishments are nothing but decoration which you could have. If you have a signature which has a um, period or a full stop, that basically uh, means that you're decisive. Underscore denotes that you're self-reliant and the two dots at the bottom shows flair and showmanship. In this day and age, when there's so much information available, sometimes it's important for us to step back, try and understand the messages which our brain sometimes sends to us in the form of signatures, in the form of body language, which will help us evaluate ourselves, understand, and leave a better signature of ourselves on this world.